This is the Ennisville Beach boat launch right here. Which I like about this boat launch is there's an in and an out. So that's that's just wonderful. There's docks on both sides. The space is amazing. Lots of room. Come down to the end of the dock. And a lot of people will try to just dock your boats right here, but you actually don't you actually don't dock your boats here. This is just for boats taking out. There's actually a docking space right there. So you pull your you pull your boat in, you go get up to the parking lot to go get your boat trailer. And what you do from there is you bring your truck and trailer down here and then you walk over and you grab your boat, load it, boom. So there isn't like 50 boats around this spot right here, which is perfect. It's a great dock. I strongly suggest it. Just one thing I do suggest is it's pretty shallow here. Um, I strongly suggest to lift lift your boat motor when you're coming in here. Just trim it up. Um, I actually dig my prop here on uh, it was like last Wednesday. So just make sure that you do lift your prop um, or you're going to ding it. So uh, that's like most boat launches. The only one I know of that you don't need to do that is pretty much Barry boat launch. So yeah, it's perfect. One thing that I am going to make clear is it's $25 for a launching fee. And the other thing is it's $10 per hour for parking or $75 for uh, max. So like whatever, 4 a.m. till 10 p.m. So just keep that in mind that it is very expensive unless you have an Innisfil Beach Pass to park down here. So if you have a visitor pass, you're good to go. Um, there is a defibrillator here as well. It's saying don't dump your bait. Um, Here's a little park map. Oh, it says no barbecues, outdoor cooking fires are in the park. Um, right here, this is a sign. Basketball, soccer, all that kind of stuff. 